Hi guys, it's uh, Ken here from the Ken's Tech Tips website. Uh, so today I want to talk about how the smartphone is essentially the ultimate convergence device. And I want to talk about how, um, how lots of different devices have converged into the one device, which is the smartphone like you see here, the Samsung Galaxy S2. And I also want to talk about what I see in the future and the trends I foresee. So a couple of years. Um, so what kind of devices have we now seen which have all combined into the smartphone? Well, obviously we have the, the phone itself. Uh, so, you know, an old mobile phone used to make phone calls, send text messages. You can do that with a smartphone as well. But lots of other functionality have also been rolled in to the smartphone. So, for example, you've got an MP3 player or music player, an entertainment device. Um, so now, you know, we used to rely on things such as an iPod uh, to listen to music, to watch videos and basically to keep us entertained when on the, on the move. Now very few people actually carry around a separate device for music and video and most people do use their smartphones. We've got uh, PDAs and personal organisers. Again there was a time, you know, maybe five, about five, ten years ago where everyone used to carry around a small PDA in their pocket and this was, you know, they used this to, um, you know, to manage their calendar. Um, to play games on, that kind of thing. Um, now, you know, the smartphone will do all of that, incorporates all of that functionality. We've got a watch. Pretty much everyone used to wear a watch. Um, a lot of people now don't bother wearing a watch and they, they simply use their smartphone to tell the time. Um, well, there's an alarm clock. I think most people now use their smartphone as an alarm clock. Um, well, we've also got the, uh, the portable digital camera. So, um, you know, pe most people still have a dedicated portable camera. But I think the smartphone camera is generally what people use more often. It's very easy to carry around, it's very portable, um, and it means that you've always got a great camera with you. Most smartphones now have, you know, I mean, if you've got Galaxy S2 or iPhone 4S, you have an eight megapixel camera. So you get some pretty good uh, photos from that. Um, you also got a camcorder on there, so, you know, with, with, with these latest devices, you can do full high definition recording using your smartphone, um, 1080p, so very good quality videos. So it's great just having a device there in your pocket where you can take really good photos and record really high quality uh, videos as well. Um, you've got sat navs. So many of us have sat navs in our cars, but in fact, you can actually use a smartphone instead of a sat nav now, basically to do the exact same job. Um, if you've got Android, you know, there's Google Maps on there which will give you free turn-by-turn -turn, uh, voice guided um, directions to your destination. So you know you don't really need uh, to have a GPS device and of course there's things such as uh, a good old calendar or diary, uh, a calculator and uh, portable television devices or games consoles or things like that. So you know all of these devices people used to carry around with them or well things like obviously an alarm clock no one really carried around with them but um, you know you never used to really have a portable alarm clock um, or people used to put them in suitcases when they travel and stuff like that but all of these devices you know it'll take an entire um, will take you certainly will take an entire rucksack maybe an entire suitcase to carry around all of these gadgets and the amazing thing is that with all of these separate devices and we've put them into one single integrated device. So you have less stuff to carry around, you've got one slim portable device which literally does all of these things. And whereas all of these gadgets, if you bought them separately, would have cost you maybe thousands of pounds, you can now get a smartphone for a few hundred pounds or free on a, on a contract and it'll do all of these things in one small portable device. So this is why essentially I call the smartphone the ultimate convergence device because you've got all of these gadgets and they've all converged into one super gadget essentially and the super gadget is the smartphone and that's why I'm so excited about smartphones. So obviously we've gone down this path of convergence well what's you know what's next? So I see several several ways that will go forward. Uh, one of them will be uh, mobile money. So at the moment we all carry around wallets with cash with credit cards, often got tons of cards, like we've got store cards, loyalty cards, all kinds of these, all kinds of things. And that's, that means we've got a bulky wallet, it takes time to find the cash, to count up the cash, uh, to find the right card, remember your PIN number, that kind of thing. Um, but it's likely that in the future we'll replace that with mobile payments. Um, so literally all you'll do is you'll get your goods um, and then you'll go, you'll go to a store checkout, you'll tap your phone on the reader, 
and you'll use some technology called near field communication, which is it's kind of similar to uh, technology used in Oyster Card here in London. But you simply tap your phone on the reader and the phone and the reader will automatically communicate with each other and it'll do everything. So, you know, it will um, it'll take the money from your bank account and authorise that for you. It'll also do loyalty cards and things like that because you've got an application on your phone. Um, so say you go into Tesco's, um, then, you know, your loyalty card and your bank payment or your credit card payment is all done in one go with one tap. You know, it literally takes a few seconds and then you can just walk out of the store. It's very quick. You don't have to spend time fumbling around, counting up cash, making sure you've got the right amount of change. Um, it's, it, it... So that's using a technology called NFC. Like I said, it's similar to uh, what you see in an Oyster card reader. Um, so in the UK, we now have, uh, there's a commercially available service called Orange Quick Tap. Um, so this launched earlier this year commercially with um, a device called the Samsung Toco Lite. Um, other networks are set to launch um, NFC technology soon as well, uh, commercially. Um, lots of phones have it, so you know, the Galaxy, um, well, the Galaxy Nexus, which is pictured here on the left hand side, also the Samsung Nexus S, uh, which is designed with Google. Um, the Galaxy S2 in some countries has NFC technology. We don't have it in the UK because, you know, commercial penetration of NFC is quite low. Um, but we are seeing some stores such as McDonald's um, who are, you know, who are implementing NFC technology. So you can now walk into McDonald's and providing you've got a compatible phone or something like that, you can actually pay um, by just tapping your phone uh, on it. And of course, the benefits of that is it's much faster, it's portable, you don't have a massive wallet with tons and tons of store cards. Um, so just like we, we're now carrying a lot fewer gadgets on the go, we can now just, instead of carrying a wallet, we just carry one portable device and that's it. Also, you know, if you go for mobile payments, it's more secure as well. So if you lose your phone, you can remotely wipe it, um, you can track it down using GPS, um, you can implement extra security features such as a pin code, that kind of thing. Um, so it's very secure. Whereas if you lose money, you lose your wallet, it's very hard to get your wallet back because the cash, once the cash has disappeared, there's no way of tracing that cash back to you. Other ways that I see convergence going forward, well, if that uh, lots of people are carrying around a piece of, uh, well, a notepad and a pen, so a pen and paper, essentially, um, to make notes, for example, meetings and things like that. So, you know, one future potential convergence use of a smartphone is uh, actually for note taking. So you've got something such as a Samsung Galaxy Note, um, and essentially this has a stylus built in called the S Pen, and that allows you to, using the S Memo application, it allows you to do handwritten notes, that kind of thing. You can draw rings, all kinds of things. I've got lots of videos on my YouTube channel, uh, so do check those out. Um, but essentially, instead of having to carry around a pen and paper, and then you know potentially losing the notes that we've made, or you know making a mess or whatever, or having then to scan it in at a later date when I want to share it with a colleague, I can just do it all electronically. And I can do things such as handwriting recognition, or I can share, I can take a snapshot and I can send it straight, um, straight to a colleague via email or Facebook or something like that. I can annotate documents. So you know, this is this is what Samsung believe uh, you know perhaps one of the future opportunities for convergence in mobile devices. I think also go I see that uh, people won't want to carry around a laptop with them. What they want to do is they want to carry around a small portable smartphone which they could use for everything. Um, so you know people want to be able to do more things in more places. And I think that's where a smartphone comes in really well. You've got lots of processing power. You've got high speed, fast connectivity. So if you can put all of the features in of a laptop into a smartphone, it'll be a great primary uh, device for lots of people. And we'll spend less time stuck at a desk, we'll spend more time out and about, and um, we'll be able to get work done and we'll be able to keep in touch with, uh, with other people as well. Energy to summarize. So what, what are the future convergence opportunities in mobile, well, note taking is one which Samsung, Samsung believe note taking is, is one of them. I think mobile money, so NFC, near field communication, um, that kind of thing, similar to Oyster Card, I think there's a big opportunity in that. I think people are seeing that there's an opportunity to make lots of money. The mobile companies are seeing it as a way to kind of essentially get into what banks are currently doing. Um, but, you know, 
There are lots of benefits for consumers as well, such as security, speed, that kind of thing. Um, and I think another convergence opportunity is essentially to have something such as a laptop or desktop computer. Um, we want to make it more portable so you can you get most of the features of a laptop essentially on the go in your pocket in one very small, fast and slim device. So that comes to the end of this video. And um, yeah, drop us a comment and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your comments.